Okay, we've got the radio box here with a 2000 Lifey battery in there. Spectrum, oh, I forget what it's AR700, I think. Yeah. Um, receiver, I've got the little satellite one up here. Let's switch that on. Alright, we've got a satellite receiver, but now it's flashing because the transmitter's already on. Up this end, we've got a uh, homemade. A reverse gearbox that I made and we've got a clutch so we can free wheel to go to forward and reverse gearbox operated by this servo here forward reverse forward we've got the water pump so when it's stationary in the water it still it still pumps the water with that switch, as well on my transmitter, it operates the fan and it operates the lights. We have the throttle servo, where are we? Throttle servo, we have throttle cup, and we have a water cooled engine, which I made the cooling ring on myself. That was not an easy job, I had to turn some fins off the uh, casing and uh, heat shrink that on. Uh, it's an OS40, it's converted, uh, we've got a lot of water cooling on the pipe here because the manifold gets really hot. That's why I've got the fan that actually draws air out, not actually pumping air in. Um, it's water cooled, like I say, the pick up goes from there into the pump which is there, it goes round the head, uh, like so, and then it goes into the exhaust, and it comes out the side. So it's quite a complicated way round. You can see the starting belt there. Fuel tank I've had to clean out because I left fuel in it, and it was like green, I couldn't believe it. Um, the battery up here has a two cell, that's what runs the pump, and that's fired up by a little, uh, electric switch in there a little electronic switch like so now see so if I can get the lid on I'm not going to show you the lights and just put it on loosely this has been in the shed for about four years it's pinched off it and raw bars thrown on it and bits of motor bits stuff like that so you know it's in a bit of a state I mean it's it's made to look rusty anyway like you can see you know it's weathered quite a bit. Um, I've got to repair the mast. Uh, has to come forward a little bit. Yeah, it's come forward a little bit. Anyway, that's that. So I've got with the lights on. Uh, also, you can set the light. You can move. Uh, we've got built and started. Um, I've got another light inside, but it looks quite good on murky mornings. You can see it's kind of, I don't know if I can feel, you'll see. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, and we've got a light on the back here, which I need to replace. Where are we? That's it, that LED has died in there, so I've got to replace that. But really, it's sitting in the shed for all that time. Uh, it's kind of survived quite well. I've just put a new receiver in it. Um, I've given everything a, a little liberal wash with um, a contact cleaner and considering it's had so much stacked on top of it it's, it all looks like in good condition so I'm looking for you know giving this old trusty rusty another run.